My name's Tom, I'm the Media Lead for Scout Network, uh, and this is my 60 Second Scatter. If you were to pack for a camp, what are the three things that you wouldn't live without? Oh! <laughs> That's a really awkward thing, because it'll probably be my phone. Right. I actually don't know. Probably my phone. What couldn't I live without? Oh yes, I've got a really cool thing. It's like a, it's like a bench seat thing. The next station is it's Sway. Passengers wishing to leave the train at the next station must be in the front five coaches. If I was to pack for a camp, uh, the three things that I couldn't live without. One would be my phone, which is awkward, uh, but that's for social media, taking photos and videos and capturing everything. Um, the other is uh, my camp chair, which is like an unrollable bit of foam that you can put on like a wall or some grass or anything and it makes it like really comfortable. Uh, and the other is my tent, because it's got like solar power chargers and everything like that and I can charge my phone. What is your most memorable moment in scouting? That's a really tricky one. My most memorable moment in scouting, it's really tough, it's between two. So one's the World Scout Moot last year in Iceland. Uh, having 10,000 scouts from around the world in the same place at the same time was incredible, uh, with an incredible backdrop. And the other is every year at London Pride, uh, where we get to showcase the fact that scouting is available for everybody. It doesn't matter who you are, you are able to join the Scouts and we're fully inclusive and it's a really incredible atmosphere and everybody goes wild for Scouts. In the train and the platform edge. What's your top tips for a successful district network? Uh, one is find a district Scout Network Commissioner uh, that is local. Two is get registered on the Scout Network website uh, so you can see all the exciting projects that are going on and create your own so other people can join in. Uh, and the other is get registered on social media channels for your network, so on uh, Facebook and Twitter especially, uh, because you can see so much going on with different networks all over the country and all over the world in fact, on social media that you can just jump in and get involved in. I'd like to know, what is your favourite adventurous activity in scouting? Uh, my favourite adventurous activity is probably hiking, because you get to see so much beautiful countryside, especially if you go to Candlestag Scout Centre, uh, you can hike up the hills and the mountains and it's just the most incredible thing you'll ever see. I'm moving to Explorers in September, I was wondering what there is to look forward to. What is there to look forward to in Explorers? Uh, first off, all sorts. It's an amazing bundle of fun, Explorers. Um, but the thing that I most enjoyed in Explorers was doing top awards, because uh, when you go into Explorers, that's when you can start doing your Queen Scout Award, uh, your DOV Gold, um, your Scouts of the World Award, and of course your Explorer Belt as well. Jam or cream first? Oh yes, right, okay. On a scone, because it's pronounced scone. Uh, jam first, then cream. The Cornish way. Scone, jam, cream, bish, bash, bosh. As a network looking to go to university, I'm aware of SAGO, the group that Scouts have become involved in, um, but I was wondering if you could um, tell us of any of your experiences as part of SAGO and any information on what we can expect if we are a Scout joining SAGO University. Thank you. First off, congratulations for going to university. It's an amazing experience and it's, from personal experience, it's been so much fun. Um, SAGO is lots and lots of fun because you can go to loads of different universities in the UK and nine times out of ten there will be a SAGO. Um, so it's just like doing network at university. Uh, you can get involved in loads and loads of different things, loads of adventure and my top advice as well is keep an eye on what else is happening across the UK, uh, especially on social media, on the UK Scanner website and between other SAGOs because there's loads and loads of adventurous activities and expeditions happening like we've just seen one go to Peru um, to the Explorer Belt so really really get involved um, and it's so much fun. What's your favourite campfire song? What's the one about the jam on the runway? The person gets squashed. They jump out of a they, para, they jump out of a plane without a parachute and they hit the runway and they get turned into strawberry jam and then the vicar goes and eats it. How would you survive 
survive for 24 hours. How would I survive for 24 hours? But what? 24 hours at university? That's a struggle. No, I would lose all my Snapchat streaks. It'd be terrible. How would I survive for 24 hours in the wild? Um, I would walk. I'd walk during the day just to explore um, and then build a bit. The next station is Totten. Can I be a bridesmaid at your wedding, please? We haven't looked at guests yet, but I'm sure I can pencil you in somewhere. <laughs>